AJ alive. Damage assessment time. Let's go. So we're gonna start with the front. First thing that I noticed was my steering stabilizer. So as you can see, it hit something. It's a little misshapen, not too bad. It does hang pretty low. Uh, we're gonna to have to relocate it eventually, but them darn low points. Front passenger, got some rain rash on the rim. Here, here, a little bit up here. After watching that video, I thought this would be a lot worse. Well, it's going up the waterfall. So here, we came down on the muffler tip. The muffler itself, you can see all the, the dents and the scratches. So, bromance crunch. <laughs> Let's check Here that out. The driver rear quarter panel. Here's the old bromance crunch battle scar. Let's check out what we did to the DV8 steel bumper. Try to keep my body in the way of the sun. There we go. So, yeah, that shows not good. You can see, hit, 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 hit. This looks like gold paint. I have no idea where I hit that weird another hit hit bigger hit another hit you guys watched that last video I came down on that bumper pretty hard it took the full weight of the rear end of the Jeep plenty of space in there still nothing hit the Jeep so last thing to look at going to be these metal cloak skids <laughs> for the most part they did great and i wouldn't be able to make some of those obstacles without this with the old mopar skids um it definitely helped me slide on up but there are some things to show you right now we're on the driver's side uh back to front nice scratches mbd and we get in here Took a hit right there. Guarantee that was on waterfall. And kind of bowed in between the two points. Uh, this is where the rivet nut is. Honestly, I wish metal cloak would have stuck to factory holes. There's one right here. I just kind of extended this piece somehow to bolt into this. Or heck, even if there was a way to get it to bolt into the cross member, I don't know. Seemed like there was a better way of holding this to the frame than a rivet nut. Now we're on passenger side. Same orientation. Back to front. We got our scratches going on. Down with scratches. My problem is this. This is supposed to be straight against the frame. Took the hit here and obviously bowed this down. It's because there's so much space over from where your mounting point is. What I don't get, there's a mounting hole right here. The factory mounting hole, they only had to extend it a little bit. It doesn't seem like much to do. Or if they wanted to make it even stronger, there's another mounting hole. Now I know I came down hard, but I just think these could have been thought out just a little bit better. Hmm. So I, I do like the metal cloak skids. No issue with them. I know they got me up those obstacles. I just, it's more redesigned. Um, I don't think would be a bad thing. I don't know. I'll contact Metal Cloak, see what they have to say. Um, not trying to get them to replace it as much as making the design better for the next person. Um, 
happy with the skids. I'm going to have to bend that up because I, I don't want to be getting caught on it. I'm going to have to dro eventually drop the skids and try hammering it back a little straighter. But until then, we're going to do a fix in a pinch. It's all right, homie. You'll be all right. Never a matter of if, but a matter of when you're going to break something. Um, it's not a big deal. I look at it as a opportunity to upgrade, and I look at it as an opportunity to learn about what it is I'm working on. I know I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to the Jeep, uh, but I know people who are, and they give me the information I need. I'm able to pick their brains and... I go and do my own work. Um, I do everything on my Jeep and I will continue to do everything on my Jeep. Except for gears. When I re-gear, I'm paying someone. That stuff looks hard. <laughs> Kudos to you if you can do it. I don't think I can. Um, don't let your lack of knowledge about the Jeep intimidate you from getting underneath the Jeep. Now, recognize the fact when you don't know what you're doing go and find help if you can't get the help you need and you need to take it to mechanic that's fine and i'm kudos with that too no issues um the deviate bumper uh, also did a great job however it's starting to rust so i'm gonna have to go and sand get the rust off paint over it again um, before it gets worse uh, it didn't take very long for it to rust, um, but it held up really good and hit the rock. I don't like that texture on the DV8 bumper. Uh, it goes off like crazy. I would have liked something more robust, but. So let's talk about the Metal Cloak. Awesome skids, awesome company. Recommend them. I'm going to reach out, give them the information, um, showing them the points of damage that I got. Um, oh, my kids are looking for me. They're acting like wolves. But I'm... So I'm going to reach out, give them the information. Hopefully they can redesign it, make it a little bit better, a little bit stronger for the next person who buys them. Um, great skids. I'd rather take that hit against the skids than something more vulnerable or... Uh, not as easy to replace as the skids so kudos to metal cloak i recommend them um we'll just see what they do um rims they're getting replaced soon anyway eh, man. ring crash ain't a big deal so the steering stabilizer want to get a relocation bracket from metal cloak move it up get it out of the way um The muffler, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It'll eventually get changed to something. I just don't know what yet. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Bing! Hit the bell. See you guys next time. Take it easy. So before we end this video, I did reach out to Metal Cloak. I informed them of the damage I did. I showed them the video of where I damaged it. And... Great news, they've actually strengthened that corner. Um, they said it's a lot stronger now with their newer version of the skids. So if you're going with Metal Cloak, kudos. Continue improvement. I love it. Y'all take it easy. Peace.